up? My name is Sonali. Happy Vlogmas Day 18. We are getting so close to Christmas. And yes, I am outfit repeating. I'm wearing my set active in green. I love this color. I wish it was like a little bit like a lighter color, but I love it. And I'm putting on my set active sweatshirt. Today is Friday and I did my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. I actually filmed a little tutorial for TikTok, so maybe that will be up before this video. We'll see. I filmed it on my camera and it's just a lot easier when you film in the app because you can just like post it and like you don't really have to edit it. But when you film on my camera, obviously I have to edit it in Final Cut Pro and then I just like procrastinate, then I never post the TikTok. So it's just like annoying. But honestly, when I first downloaded TikTok, I was so confused because I guess I'm just so used to editing in Final Cut Pro and it was a new app. Like it wasn't very user friendly to be honest, but I think I finally got the hang of it now. Um, this morning, well actually I think it's almost about to be noon, um, I'm gonna meet a friend for lunch. She was one of my high school best friends. We're probably gonna go to Canton Street, Historic Roswell, that kind of area, um, but I'm gonna wait for her. I think she's at a doctor's appointment right now, so I'm just gonna waiting for her to tell me when to leave my house. But for now, I think I'm gonna go edit my Vlogmas Day 16, or 17, and um, that was like a get ready with me because I didn't really have much to vlog yesterday, but today I have a lot of packages to open, so I think it's gonna be a big haul, and um, not sure what I'm gonna do tonight. It's Friday night, so maybe I'll do something with Brian. We'll see. I wanted to share a quick editing hack because I know a lot of you are very interested in that like aspect of the whole YouTube stuff. I just started doing this and it's been a game changer. I put all my footage at a two times speed and the way you do that is just by clicking this button right here go to fast and then it has presets so you can do like two times four times eight times or 20 or you can do custom but I just do two and then it makes it so fast to edit because obviously you're talking so fast and it kind of sounds like this so obviously you can still hear yourself and if you make any mistakes then you can cut them out and it's just so much faster than doing it at the normal speed because this footage was I think 42 minutes and by doing it two times speed it was 20 minutes that cuts your editing time in half pretty much which is actually crazy so I feel like this works for sit down videos and like makeup tutorials and stuff like that where you're just like kind of staying in the same place I don't know about vlogs though because they're just like so many random little clips and I think it might just go a little too fast but I will try it out and let you guys know how it works for vlogs um, but seriously, this is gonna be a game changer, especially doing vlogmas like it takes so long to just Hear yourself talk and make sure like everything's cut out that needs to be cut out and This is just gonna be so helpful. So I am gonna get back to editing I have a little bit more of this video to edit and then I'm just gonna put all my like intro outro and all that She'll just texted me that she was 20 minutes away. So I'm going to head out got my purse got my mask I think that's it. I think that's all I need I'm with Jill. We're on Canton Street. We're gonna go on a lay bistro. Let's do it. We did the prosciutto flatbread and then we're gonna split the crepe. We're gonna split both of these. Look how freaking good this looks. It's currently 3 p.m. I'm home now and I actually picked up some packages from Ryan's house because I wanted to open my Christmas presents like today. I just can't wait any longer. I'm just so impatient. So we're gonna do that and see what I got. I mean, I actually did like what I want for Christmas and it was literally everything that I asked for. First thing is my iPad screen protector, but this one is a paper feel. I've heard it helps so much with handwriting on Procreate and just like your iPad in general. So I'm really excited to open this, but I never put my screen protectors on. I don't trust myself, so I um, have Ryan do it for me. Um, but this one is actually not from Amazon. We'll see what this is. Never mind, this was actually from Amazon, but I guess it didn't come from the Amazon warehouse. This is a universal lens cap and it looks like this and it can like stretch. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's so cool. 
I just put it over you guys. <laughs> I'm really excited about this because I'm so bad with my technology and I feel like I just put my vlog camera in my purse and wherever it probably shouldn't be without a lens cap. So I'm glad I finally got this. Next I got a Apple Pencil Grip and this is also gonna help me with like handwriting on the iPad. I'm so excited to like set that all up. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, let's see what this is. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> I got boot socks, finally. I was wearing my Doc Martens last night with like ankle socks and it was just not a fun situation. So these look really nice. Okay, um, what else? Oh, <laughs> this was sent to Ryan's house, a Williams Sonoma magazine. This is literally the equivalent to me as a child circling like the toys I want in the Toys R Us catalog, you know? I'm just gonna go through this and just dream about the freaking kitchen that one day I will hopefully have with all of these really expensive appliances. There's this one juicer that I keep eyeing. It's like the Smeg Citrus Juicer. It just is beautiful and not that I like juice citruses that often, but I've just been eyeing it for so long that if you see me get it, then you know I've cracked. <laughs> oh, no. My nail chipped so bad. Like so, I don't, I don't even want to show you. This is really sad. I was growing my nails out so long. I feel like I just go too fast and like smack my hands around. Like I literally broke a couple nails on the car door because I was trying to shut it or open it. I broke two. Now I just broke this with this freaking box. Maybe my nails are just like way too weak. I don't know what's going on, but this is not okay. And I used to love getting dip just for the fact that I could be hard with my hands and like do whatever and not have to care about them breaking because the dip was so thick that it literally just kept my nails in place it was clutch but now i'm just like it's so expensive and it's bad for your nails i'm just trying to like be a little healthier i have some stuff from red dress boutique that i'm gonna actually try on for you guys because i'm gonna do it over on my instagram stories but i know some of you guys wanted to see a set active haul and I'm not gonna try it on because I don't really feel amazing about my body right now. And yeah, it's just not gonna happen. So maybe I'll do like my whole set active collection like beginning of February because I'm gonna try to, you know, get back on my grind and stuff in January. So maybe I'll just feel a little bit more confident to do it then. But you know, just being real with you guys, I'm just not eating the best right now. And yay! All right, let's get to it. <gasps> Oh, look at that. They gave me a tote bag. How freaking cool. I don't know when I'll use this, but that's super cool. Damn, I'm going to have like a whole set active collection. I am like seriously obsessed with this brand. Like you guys don't even know, or maybe you do because I talk about it all the time. First thing I got is this oat milk tank top and it has the set active logo in the back. Can you see that? I'm actually wearing the green leggings right now, but I was wearing this color yesterday, so I have the leggings already, so I thought I would just get the tank top. I haven't tried really anything else other than their bras, so that's going to be the first time I'm trying out like their clothes. I guess, well, this is obviously um, something other than a bra, a sweatshirt. Okay, and then I got this other tank top, same style, and they'll match these leggings that I have on. Let's see what color this is, because I do not remember what color huh. the green color is cactus i should have guessed <laughs> it's a very cactusy color so i got another tank this one is in black and again it has the razor back and it has the set active logo in the back i feel like this is going to be very nice to have just like a nice quality black tank top um and the set active logo isn't even that like big or crazy so you can wear it um with other things too I got another Onyx leggings. This is their black color. And if you guys are wondering, I get a size large, I think, in everything. Let's see. Yeah, everything I got, bras, leggings, everything, I got a size large and they fit really nicely. So what I love about Set Active is that it really freaking sucks you in. I honestly can't deal with leggings that don't suck you in. Um, and they have like a little bit of a ribbed thing right here and down the leggings, which I really like because it just, 
gives you that feeling that you're like secure. During Black Friday, they actually launched a couple of new colors and this was one of them. It's called Spritz and I feel like this is gonna look so good on my skin tone. So I'm really freaking excited about this one. And I forgot what bras I got to match this. So we shall see. Okay, I got two. I got my favorite one shoulder sports bra. These are freaking bomb. I love this stuff. Ugh. That actor just makes me so happy. I want to say this is the ribbed V, but don't quote me. I really like this because it's like a really just longer sports bra. I wonder if you guys can tell what my favorite color in Set Active is. Probably the oat milk because I've gotten so much in this freaking color. Um, this is actually a new style. This is the body crop and it's not a like v-neck and it's, it's not a halter either. So the back is just straight back like that. And so this will look really, really cute. I'm very excited to try that out. And then I also got the same um, body crop in black or in onyx. I don't know if you can see that set active on the back, but it has it right on the back. Cute little branding. And that is everything I got from set active. I know that set active probably doesn't do sponsorships because they don't need to, but I'm going to manifest me working with them somehow in 2021 because i'm so obsessed with the brand so let's let's help me manifest that <laughs> i need to write that down in my manifestation journal which i still have not yet to touch so whatever okay i'm gonna get to doing the red dress haul first i obviously need to clean up because i'm gonna do it in the mirror gotta have a nice background you know you can't have all this plastic shit on the bed in the back so time to clean up Unfortunately, I was trying to beat the sun, so I didn't have time to vlog all the outfits for you guys. But I did just put in my Instagram stories. And if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, go do it. Seriously, it would mean the world to me. I'm trying to grow my Instagram. It's, you know, not as easy as TikTok these days. It's crazy. It's currently 5.15. Ryan gets off at 6 p.m. We're going to go probably eat something. Honestly, I feel like that's all there is to do. But I think I might look at buying my flight back home um, because I think Ryan for sure is gonna try to buy a car here and drive it back. And, ooh, I also need to edit my Vlogmas. <laughs> Keep forgetting, so let me do that before I freaking forget. I finally hit publish on my vlog, and now I'm cozy in sweats. I'm kind of like cold, so I'm just like bundled up. Ryan is on his way to pick me up. I think we're gonna get tacos. We'll see if these tacos are as good as the tacos in Austin. Ryan's already had it, he said it's like okay but I'm really intrigued to try it. And I honestly forgot about tacos. And that's one thing, like if we ever do move back or move anywhere else other than Austin, like I feel like that's something that I thought I would miss, like having tacos all the time. And by tacos, I mean like the street tacos with just onions, cilantro, cilantro, I don't know how you say it. Um, and like the meat and then lime, oh my God, it's so good. And it's so funny because when I just moved to Austin, I was like, oh my god, that's a taco. Like, I need all the toppings. Give me, like, you know, cheese and all of that stuff. But no, I like these so much better now that I've, like, actually tasted them. But anyways, I thought I was going to miss that if I ever moved back here. But now that I've been back here for how long? almost a month, I have not really even thought about tacos, which is, like, crazy. Because we literally get them once or twice a week when we're back in Austin. So that is interesting hopefully this place is good though because if we ever do move back who knows um you know at least we'll have some good tacos here to eat okay so sorry that it's super dark right now, but I wanted to give a quick review before I forgot of the taco place. I feel like I'm really picky about the corn tortillas most of the time. Like that's the that's the key ingredient of making a good taco. White flour. Why is my hand shaking? This whole day, I feel like my hands have been really, really badly shaking. Yeah, we get flour corn. Oh, wait. You get corn. No, okay, yeah, I get corn. Flour for breakfast tacos. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. And my hand is like <coughs> shaking so bad but anyways i didn't really like it and so we can't move back to atlanta 
And that's that. What do you have to say about that? It's just one place in Roswell we tried. You're just dramatic. Yeah, I am. Because I want to stay in Austin. I like that place because it's the closest thing I have to Los Troncos. That's not even close, though. So. Yeah, it is. Find somewhere better, I don't then. think you put enough. You got some bad meats. You gotta get the pastor and barbacoa. I literally got both of those. The lengua was the best one, though. Yeah, but you said barbacoa was the best one, and that's why I got barbacoa. Barbacoa was good. Maybe you just didn't have a good bite. So it had an aftertaste. And so yeah, I think I had an aftertaste with the barbacoa. That's why I didn't really love it, but the steak was pretty good. We have not watched Desperate Housewives in how many days? Two weeks, probably. Too now. many. <laughs> and we need to get this freaking season... It's the last, 16. The last, it's the last, is it, it's over. Why do you want to end the season so bad? I feel like there's so many TV shows that we need to be watching, like The Undoing. Also, do you have HBO? Do you pay for Hulu? Hulu? Yeah. I think it's with my Spotify or something. I wonder, I think there's like a bundle package with HBO or Hulu or something. Mm -hmm. But I think The Undoing is on HBO. I want to finish Desperate Housewives so I can start watching other TV shows. And then my life's over. What? Then my life is over. What do you mean? I'm not watching those weird shows with you. You like all the shows I watch, don't I mean, you? I mean, Paris kind of sucks, to be honest.